Every summer, as Manchester United fans, we are subjected to the rumours of Cristiano Ronaldo returning to the club. And 2017 certainly hasn't failed to deliver on that front. Ronaldo is accused of tax fraud in Spain to the tune of 15 million euros and apparently is so pissed off about it that he wants to leave Real Madrid. But what are the actual stories? What are the tax accusations against him? What we're going to do today is run through the whole Ronaldo story, the full story for you, to give you a real understanding of what has gone on and where these intense rumours really have come from and whether or not there's actually any chance that Ronaldo might come back to Old Trafford. Now the Ronaldo reports really kicked off on the 16th of June but we should look at a little bit of context that happened in the days leading up to that because I think it's quite important in this whole story about why Ronaldo might be pissed off or might not be pissed off. Now on the 14th of June, Real Madrid released an official statement on the club's website. You can see it here, but in there they're basically pledging their complete belief in Ronaldo, saying that we're going to do everything to help you and that we believe you are innocent and that we will do everything we can to make sure that is proved to be the case. Now on the 15th of June, only a day later, Ronaldo shared an image on his Instagram account saying that it is sometimes better to stay quiet at times like this because he has completely and utterly denied any sort of tax fraud. He's completely saying, I'm innocent, I haven't done any of this. So he's taken to Instagram to say that sometimes it's better to stay quiet. And then he didn't stay quiet because on the 16th of June, it all kicked off. Portuguese newspaper Aboda, they were the ones that really kicked it off with their front page splash, saying that Ronaldo's decision to leave Real Madrid was irreversible and he exploded. Everybody exploded. You see, the BBC reported it, the Telegraph reported it, the Independent reported it. Everybody reported it. The same story that Ronaldo wanted to leave Real Madrid. Even Massa, a pro Real Madrid newspaper, known for their pro Real Madrid propaganda, they're reporting the same thing. And they're not just, they're not just citing a bowler, they're using their own sources saying, it's correct, this is the case. So Ronaldo's PR machine is kicked into gear here. And everybody is reporting the exact same story, that Ronaldo wants to leave Real Madrid. And the main premise of Ronaldo's frustrations comes from these tax accusations. That is where the story is coming from. Previously, Ronaldo being linked with the move back to Man United was always to do with a contract renegotiation. But Ronaldo just signed a five-year deal in November. So he's already there until he's about 37 on a contract already. So this one feels a little bit different and we want to explain these tax accusations in a little bit more detail to help you understand what they are. Now the Spanish prosecutor's office are accusing Ronaldo of knowingly using a business structure that was set up in 2010 to try and hide his image rights income from Spain between 2011 and 2014. This involved a voluntary failure to comply with his tax obligations in Spain. And that is where these four counts of tax fraud are coming from. But Ronaldo and Gestifute, who are the agency representing Ronaldo, have absolutely denied this is the case. He said there is no tax evasion scheme. There has never been any hiding nor any intention to hide anything. Now, Gestifute said that they will publish documents to prove that Ronaldo had not created a business in 2010 to try and hide his image rights income. They are saying that he has used the same firms that he used when he was at Manchester United and that they both took into account Spanish and British tax authorities and that Ronaldo has done absolutely nothing wrong. Now, of course, this is not the first image rights tax fraud case in Spain. Lionel Messi was found guilty and it was 21 month sentence he got in jail. Because it's less than two years in Spain, you're allowed to serve that jail sentence on a probationary period. So he's not actually gonna spend time behind bars and becoming a jailbird. But he was fined, I think it was three and a half million pounds and he was found guilty. Ronaldo doesn't want that. What we're clearly seeing here is how important the image of Ronaldo is to Ronaldo. That's his brand, that's his power. That's what he's built his career up towards. That's everything for him. And for that to be damaged with accusations of tax fraud, if they are proved to be incorrect, that is where his frustration is coming from. And I feel that is the reason why all of this is kicking off. I think we all know that is. Now, prior to all these reports coming out of Ronaldo wanting to leave Real Madrid, Ronaldo professed his innocence completely. He said there was no tax fraud. Nothing has ever happened. And that is why he is so annoyed at this situation. Now, on the 17th of June, the day after all these stories exploded everywhere, the stories continue to develop in Spain. You've got Spanish radio station Cadena Cope saying that Real Madrid is surprised 
by Ronaldo's decision to take his frustrations public. Now let's not forget that three days ago, they published a statement completely showing their loyalty to Ronaldo and saying, we are gonna help you through this. We know you're innocent. We stand by you completely. So if that is the case and that they were surprised that all these reports actually came public, that's where Real Madrid's frustrations came from. And there are also separate reports that Zinedine Zidane, as soon as these Ronaldo stories broke, he got on the phone to Ronaldo and told him how important he was and is to Real Madrid. And you know, no player is bigger than the club, but Ronaldo, he is Real Madrid. You know, he's now their top goal scorer, over 400 goals in, I don't know, he's got a ridiculous amount of goals. They finally win the Champions League back to back, first team to ever done it. The first time they've won the double of the Champions League and the league since the 1950s. Ronaldo scored 50 plus goals in seven consecutive seasons. The guy is a phenomenon and he is Real Madrid. So I'm not surprised that Zidane panicked, picked that phone up and told Ronaldo straight away how important he is. And Ronaldo obviously knows that as well. He's leveraging his own power at the club with this whole PR machine to show his frustrations. And Real Madrid's response by this, you can tell that they're worried that maybe Ronaldo will leave this year. Then on the 18th of June, Manchester United get involved, not directly, but Duncan Castles, who we all know is the mouthpiece of Jose Mourinho and Jorge Mendes, a journalist who has built up a reputation over the years of knowing what is going on at the clubs that Mourinho is managing. And that is a situation in United right now. He's saying that Manchester United are interested in re-signing Cristiano Ronaldo. I mean, why wouldn't we be? Let's be honest, all fans are, are interested in it. It doesn't mean it's actually gonna happen. Of course, Ed Woodward wants him. He is a man who loves a marquee signing. Let's not forget that back when we had David Moyes as manager, we chased Cristiano Ronaldo. We chased Gareth Bale. We chased Cesc Fabregas. We ended up with Mario Fellaini on transfer deadline day. Now that is something that Man United have to avoid, no matter what happens with Ronaldo this summer. And I think we're smarter now, we won't do that. But that transfer saga would be painful this summer if it happened. But to hear that Woodward is interested in bringing him back to Manchester United should come as absolutely no surprise to anybody. What bigger marquee signing than bringing Ronaldo back to Manchester United? Then our favourite man, Gianluca Di Marzio, he waded into the situation and gave his own two cents on it. He said that PSG were willing to pay absolutely anything to sign Ronaldo, but that Manchester United was the priority for Ronaldo. If he was to leave Real Madrid, he wants to come home. And why wouldn't he? You know, Real Madrid fans still boo Ronaldo, even if he scored a hat-trick in a game. Ronaldo never got booed once at Old Trafford and never will. It's a different relationship with the fans at United than it is with Real Madrid, who for me are a toxic ass, acid club as far as the fans' relationship with players go. But it doesn't mean he's going to come back to United, but it comes as no surprise to see that if he is going to leave, Man United are his priority. And let's not forget that Jorge Mendes is his agent, same agent as Mourinho. Man United is where he played previously. Everything points towards United. And now Duncan Castles is saying that United are interested in signing him and that United is the priority for Ronaldo. That's what DiMarzio is saying. So the rumors are continuing to build and build and build. Then Sky Sports waded in as well, and they said that Ronaldo was interested in rejoining Manchester United, that Ronaldo did want that move back to Old Trafford. And we find ourselves here in another season, another summer, talking about Ronaldo potentially coming back to Manchester United. One thing here is that it does feel a little bit different than previous years. Previously, for me, it has always been about contract negotiations. And maybe that is the case again this year, that even though he signed a new five-year deal in November, after the barnstorming into the season he had with the Champions League, with the, you know, win the Liga, he's gonna win the Ballon d'Or, maybe he feels that his power to negotiate is never gonna be as stronger as it is now. And that is what he is doing. Or he's simply protecting his image with a PR campaign and that everybody is now talking about him joining Manchester United again, rather than anything to do with tax accusations. You know, there's different ways to look at it. We could be cynical and look at it like that. We could just be naive and be United fans who want to see Ronaldo back in a Manchester United shirt. And I prefer doing that because it's much more fun to talk about. And the idea of Ronaldo coming back, let's be honest, it is incredible. But the years and years and years of Ronaldo being linked to Man United and coming back means all United fans have got a natural protective shell around us when it comes to Ronaldo rumors. It's natural to just brush them off and say, it's never gonna fucking happen. I don't think it's gonna happen this summer. I really don't. 
But this one feels a little bit different. And I feel that it wouldn't be doing the rumours justice to just completely ignore them and sweep them under the carpet because it hasn't happened previously. It doesn't mean it can't happen this year. Hell yeah, it will be expensive. It will break the world record for a 32-year-old. Logically, it makes no sense at all. But for us fans, imagine what it would be like to have Ronaldo back at the club for another three, four years, maybe retire at the club. And maybe if he's at the club for another four years, becoming United's top goal scorer as well as Real Madrid's. I bet you that's something that Ronaldo's thought about. It really is a case of once bitten, twice shy with these Ronaldo rumours, but it doesn't mean that we're not going to talk about them. Do you really think there is any chance of Ronaldo coming back to United and how excited would you be about that? Would you rather United just completely ignore these Ronaldo rumours and concentrated on getting Morata, getting Perisic, hopefully getting Fabinho and Lindelof and getting our main targets this summer? Or do you think if there is a chance, even the smallest chance that United can re-sign the best player in the world, our former hero, Cristiano Ronaldo, that we should be doing everything in our power as the club to try and sign him. What would you do if you were Ed Woodward? Let me know in the comments below as always. I hope this full story video has helped give you an understanding of where these tax accusations are coming from, what the relationship is between Real Madrid and Ronaldo as far as these accusations are, and whether Ronaldo really is so pissed off that he would leave Real Madrid this summer, even after winning a historic double with the club. Uh, drop a like on the video as always. Subscribe to United People's TV if you're new, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.